This was normal service resumed for the champions. Manchester City sent a clear message of intent to their Premier League. Rivals and Erling Holland scored on the opening weekend of the season for a third year running. It was no wonder that. By the end, the away end were chanting about winning a fifth consecutive title. The City fans were dancing in delight because this was a perfect start. And City did it without their midfield kingpin Rodri who is still recovering from injury after the Euros. City boss Pep Guardiola did not start England trio John Stones. Kyle Walker or Phil Foden while Jack Grealish was also only on the bench. When you consider there is much more to come. City will be delighted with the three points and a winning start to the campaign. To win at Chelsea is. Still a big result no matter the chaos and soap opera which continues to engulf Stamford Bridge. It was amusing. To see man of the match Matteo Kavakic refusing to celebrate after scoring a late goal which clinched City's. 2. Goal victory. The way Chelsea's defence parted and allowed Kavakic to run through midfield unchallenged before firing his. 25-yard shot you could be forgiven for thinking a few home players thought he was still on their side. Not a tackle in sight. Dot and Kavakic then not celebrating was all very well but a bit farcical because, at this rate, half the Premier League will have soon played for Chelsea. In fairness to Enzo Maresca, the fifth manager under Todd. Bolis reign, Chelsea actually played well and were in the game right up until Kavakic's goal six minutes. From time. If only Nicholas Jackson could look across the line, check whether he was onside, then Chelsea would have scored but. For all the £1.2 billion spent, they still do not have a goal-scoring centre forward. In contrast, Holland's goal was down to his power. Strength and determination. Bernardo Silva was close to his impish best while new Brazilian winger Savinho showed plenty of encouraging signs before going off injured at half-time. Rico Lewis was excellent in a full-back midfield hybrid role and the 19-year-old looks full of potential. Particularly with a New England era around the corner. Kavakic was dominant in midfield and Chelsea must regret letting him. Go and there will have to be some more departures this summer probably starting with Raheem Sterling who was left out completely. City, meanwhile, are solid and will undoubtedly be the team to beat. It took them just 18 minutes to go ahead. Jeremy Doku cut in from the left, Silva flicked the ball on and Holland used his strength before dinking the ball over Chelsea keeper Robert Sanchez. Sanchez made a super save to stop Doku's deflected shot while the Chelsea keeper also denied Holland. Jackson had. The ball in the net but VR showed he had drifted offside before Cole Palmer's original shot. That is unforgivable. City keeper Ederson made a terrific reflex save to deny Jackson when, for once, the Chelsea striker stayed onside. But that was Chelsea's last big chance to nick something. Chelsea defender Wesley Fofana's poor clearance went straight to Kavakic. The City midfielder went past Enzo Fernandez and Moises. Caicedo, two £100 million players, as if they weren't there before his shot went in off the post. City matched. Their title rivals Arsenal and Liverpool with a win in their opening fixture in what was the hardest of the three. Chelsea showed some promise but, after a revolving door transfer policy, they still lack an identity which they will have to find quickly to have a good season. Join our new WhatsApp community and receive your daily dose of Mirror Football content. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out anytime you like. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice.